Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And today is our animal unit、uh -huh. or living things. Right. And we're going to be going into the oceans today to talk about. Octopi or octopuses.、Uh, octopi is one form of the plural form of that、uh, noun, but most people say octopuses, and I believe the dictionary says that yeah, you can use one or the other. I think the dictionary people kind of gave up because、mm. you know when I grew up and when Tom grew up, you had to say octopi for the plural form.、Mm. If you said octopuses, you got it wrong. But now I think、uh, language is becoming so sloppy and lazy. That we're just saying whatever. So you can use octopuses now. You certainly can. Yeah. And we're talking about how octopuses are actually pretty intelligent.、Mm. They have oceans of intelligence. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Very yeah, cute. Yeah, oceans of, in some circumstances, means a lot of something.、Mm. So yes, indeed, these、uh, sea creatures are actually pretty intelligent. And we're going to talk about how an octopus actually used its brains to escape. From an aquarium in New Zealand, and how also they're able to open up jars and stuff like that. These are smart little slimy、uh, aquarium devils. Do you like to eat them? Uh, not really. I'm not really a big fan of seafood. You know, it's kind of slimy. You know? I like so, I like、uh, fish and chips because it's deep fried. But yeah. But I'm afraid if I eat octopus, then the、uh, suckers will stick to the walls of my stomach. Gross. And、uh, I'll probably suffocate or kill, something. Kill you. I, I don't know. But、uh, in any case, yeah, I don't <laughs> like to eat them. But、uh, now that I know that they're quite intelligent, I don't think I want to eat them either. Okay, because if they're smart, I don't think they should be eaten. But in any case, here we're going to talk about octopuses. In today's program, so let's get to it. Let's read the entire contents of our lesson, and we'll be right back. An octopus made global headlines in 2016 when it made a break for freedom, fleeing its enclosure in a great escape from the National Aquarium of New Zealand. The octopus, named Inky, broke out of its tank after the lid on it had been left slightly ajar. Once out, it traveled across the floor of the aquarium to a 50-meter drain pipe that led directly to the sea. Though news of this unlikely yet brilliant escape artist came as a surprise to many, those familiar with octopuses' amazing capabilities weren't that shocked. To them. Inky's pursuit of liberty was just representative of the creature's intelligence, not to mention its unique biological traits. As octopuses don't have bones, they are able to fit into extremely small spaces and squeeze through gaps the size of coins. When it comes to evading predators, octopuses are masters at camouflaging themselves. Their skin can change its hue and texture. To blend into the environment, when that doesn't work, they can expel ink and escape through the dark cloud they create. Apart from these characteristics, octopuses have earned the title of one of the smartest animals on Earth. Their achievements include being able to open jars, both from the outside and inside of containers, as well as using tools. An Australian study has recently found that octopuses. Will hoard coconut shells and use them to build forts they can hide in. Octopuses have even been witnessed tapping shrimp on the shoulder to scare the animals into their waiting arms. For all these reasons and more, some people believe that no other sea creature is cleverer than an octopus. Small wonder that when given the slightest chance of freedom, Inky grasped it. With all eight arms. Okay, let's、uh, talk about octopuses in today's program. Okay, it's a good subject for Taiwan because Taiwan is an island nation. And there are octopuses all over the place in the oceans surrounding Taiwan. Okay, an octopus actually escaped、uh, from its enclosure. At the National Aquarium of New Zealand. Okay, so again, we're talking about octopus. Okay, that's a creature that lives in the ocean. It has eight 
arms、yeah. that have suckers on them.、Yeah. And if you make headlines, that means you are in the news. A headline, of course, is the main. Uh, information of a news story in big letters in a newspaper. So if you make headlines, that means it's a big news story. Why was it so famous? Why was it in global headlines? I remember reading about this story. It was so funny. It was.、Uh, Because it made a break for freedom, we often use that phrase "break for freedom" or、uh, trying to break for freedom is、uh, usually a criminal who's been in jail、mm. and he gets a chance to break out of jail. So it made a break for freedom.、Uh, that's kind of that whole phrase is used when someone's escaping, having been captured or in jail, and it was also fleeing its enclosure. Its enclosure is sort of like a pen or A cage that you put an animal in, so it was fleeing its enclosure in a great escape from the National Aquarium of New Zealand. Great escape here is sort of funny because there was a movie called The Great Escape, made、yeah. when my parents were young,、um, and so this whole first sentence is pretty cute, pretty clever. It certainly is, and it made a break for freedom, and it fleed its enclosure. To flee just means to run away from something, to escape, and an enclosure, of course, is a place that an animal is in, usually in a zoo or an aquarium. Of course, there are different animals in their enclosures.、Uh, in the zoo, for example, the panda bear enclosure, the lion enclosure, etc. So, in this particular case, it's at an aquarium,、uh, which is a place that features. Sea animals,、mm. and it actually escaped from its enclosure. And this, of course, was the National Aquarium of New Zealand, which, of course, is one of those countries down under. Now, the octopus named Inky broke out of its tank after the lid on it had been left slightly ajar. <laughs> okay, ajar here is a word. It's an adjective to describe something that is not. Totally closed. Okay, it's slightly、uh, open. Yeah, slightly open.、Just、yes, indeed.、Bit. You might leave your door ajar, for example. Yeah. We used to leave our door ajar so the cat could get out. Sometimes the cat would、oh, start.、Really? Yeah, the cat would sleep with us originally, and then、uh -huh. later, of course, we knew that it would、uh, leave the room, so we would leave the door ajar so that the cat could get out of the room and <laughs> go、uh, sleep someplace else. But uh, yes, uh, some idiot at the aquarium was.、Uh, Was not very responsible here. Was unprofessional.、Uh, not careful. Huh? Not careful. Yes,、uh, this person left、uh, the lid、uh, to the enclosure slightly ajar. And octopuses, of course, are quite clever. It looked up and thought, "Hmm, that lid is ajar. I smell freedom. Indeed, I'm going to make a break <laughs> for it." And that is、uh, what turns out to have happened. It's so funny.、Uh, once it was out of the tank. The tank here is just a fish tank. Tank, but a really big tank. Sometimes those octopus,、uh, the octopuses get really big. I've seen some real, seen some really scary big ones.、Mm. Anyway, once it was out, it traveled across the floor of the aquarium to a 50 meter drain pipe that led directly to the sea. Oh, he could probably smell the ocean with his little octopus nose,、mm. wherever that nose is. I don't know where his nose is,、mm. but、uh, a drain pipe are those big pipes that take、uh, dirty water and sewage. That's the water that comes from our、uh, our bathrooms, you know, in the kitchen. It takes that water out of our houses. So there was a drain pipe in the aquarium, and he got into it and made his way to the sea. Back home again. Indeed. So, yeah, I don't think it's a coincidence that he just ended up going down a drain pipe. I think it's probably, as you said,、uh -huh. he had a sense that that was a way to get to the sea. I think he could smell the water, the、mm -hmm. salt water. Yeah, and I bet the people at the aquarium thought, <laughs> hmm, because he's so smart and because he did that, we're not going to go look for him. We're going to let him be. He can be free. I think they should reward him for his brains. Absolutely.、Yeah. Besides, you can get an octopus. Anywhere, just catch them and stuff like that. Get another But, one, indeed. And though news of this unlikely yet brilliant escape artist <laughs> came as a surprise to many, those familiar with octopuses' amazing capabilities weren't that shocked. So, though, although the news of this escape may be a surprise to many people, it's not so surprising to people who know that octopuses are pretty smart.、Basically, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what the sentence means、mm -hmm. here. So, yes, to the rest. 
rest of us, we might think, "Oh, it's just some slimy, dumb sea creature." So it must have been really cool that it escaped. It was a brilliant escape, or this octopus was a brilliant escape artist. Brilliant、uh, can mean a couple of things. It can mean something is really, really bright,、uh, brilliant light, for example. But in the usage here, it just means、uh, you are very, very clever. You're very, very talented. You are very, very smart. But if you're in、uh, the UK at all, they use "brilliant" to say "oh, wonderful" or "great." Oh, that's brilliant.、Um, you kind of have to get used to that. They don't use it as being smart as much as the Americans. They、mm. think it just means kind of wonderful, great, fabulous.、Mm. So he was an escape artist. It's kind of funny that they call the octopus an escape artist. We usually refer to these escape artists as.、Um, The magicians who put themselves into situations that that seem like it's impossible to escape from or or survive. Some of these really famous magicians, like、um, David、uh, Copperfield,、uh, he does that. And there there are a couple out there pretty that are pretty famous right now. But he's just a little octopus that figured out how to get back to the sea. And those who work with octopuses, they weren't surprised. They know they're smart. To them. Inky's pursuit of liberty was just representative or symbolic of the creature's intelligence, not to mention its unique biological traits. We talk about his body being very soft. There are no bones in an octopus's body, so he can bend and squeeze into really small shapes.、Uh, when you pursue something, that's the verb form. Pursuit is the noun form. If you pursue something, you chase after it. And liberty here just means freedom. And he wants. At his freedom, and with his、uh, little small, squishy, soft body, he was able to accomplish his goals. Biological refers to his body, and the traits are just characteristics. Tom, right now though, it's just about time to take a break. We're going to take a break. We are not going to make the great escape though. We'll stay. No, we'll stay. We'll just、yeah. take a quick break, and then we'll be back. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. 我们今天要看的主题是一只非常聪明的章鱼。首先来看到第一个空格的句子，提到 the octopus named Inky broke out of its tank after the lid on it. Blank one slightly ajar. 在这里提到呢，这只叫做呢黑漆漆的章鱼呢，因为光住它的这个顶盖怎么样，然后它就 broke out of its tank， 就能够得以逃脱关注它的水缸。我们来看一下呢，在这后面的 after 的主词是 the lid。顶盖盖子呢是怎么样的状态？第一题我们可以选择 B 选项的 had been left。要注意的，这是在描述过去发生的事情，而顶盖被处于这样子大状态，因为被打开就实处于这样的状态当中，是一种被动的方式，所以我们就搭配的是过去。完成被动态，来强调比过去更早，这个盖子就被打开来了。所以第一题的标准答案就选择 B 选项。第二个空格的句子提到 ，Though news of this unlikely yet brilliant escape artist came as a surprise to many, those familiar with octopuses' amazing capabilities weren't that blank too. 事实上呢，虽然这样的新闻呢，大家听到的是 came as a surprise， 对很多人来讲很惊讶。不过呢，对于那些非常熟悉章鱼惊人能力的人，当然就不那么的怎么样呢？第二题的 A 选项 reserved 预定的 ，B engaged 从事的。C convinced 被说服的 ，D shocked 惊讶的。那么相较于前面讲到这个新闻，很多人觉得很惊讶。但是如果你知道章鱼的惊人能力，你就不会那么的惊讶了。所以第二题的标准答案，我们就选择 D shocked。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
We shall now continue with our lesson. Again, we're talking about octopuses in today's program, and specifically, we're talking about the example of Inky,、mm. which was an octopus that escaped from the aquarium of New Zealand because it、uh, saw its chance. It made a break for freedom、mm. when the lid of its enclosure was left ajar, and it went down that pipe all the way to the ocean. <laughs> and people were kind of surprised. Wow. How can an octopus do that? But people who know about octopuses know that, hey, that's nothing surprising because octopuses have those abilities. Not only are they smart, but they also have some physical characteristics that allow them to escape through very small openings. We'll find out what that's all about in just a second here. So it says. As octopuses don't have bones, or because they don't have bones, they are able to fit into extremely small spaces and squeeze through gaps the size of coins. So, if you look at an、wow. octopus in the aquarium, you might think, "Wow." How can an octopus fit through a hole that's only the size of a coin, like maybe a ten NT dollar coin or something? An octopus can actually fit through that hole,、Crazy. and that's because they don't have bones. So I guess you could say they're very slimy. They're very flexible. Oh yeah, it's pretty amazing. I'd never heard this before, so this is kind of fun. When it comes to evading predators, a predator is someone who is trying to chase after you to kill you and eat you, mostly eat you.、Uh, octopuses are masters at camouflaging themselves. When it comes to is a phrase we use when we want to introduce something. So here we're introducing this idea of、uh, fleeing from predators or getting away from someone who's trying to hunt you and kill you. So when it comes To this, they're masters at camouflaging themselves. If you camouflage something, you hide it.、Uh, you kind of disguise what you are, so someone can't find you. Some animals can change their their skin color. Uh, like some of the lizards that we have, they can change their skin color. The chameleon. Yeah, the chameleon.、Um, and I wanted to mention,、um, let's say, when it comes to, let's use an example. When it comes to baseball, no one loves the Yankees as much as I do. So it's just a phrase you can use to introduce a new topic. Can you give an example, Tom? Yeah, when it comes to when you're talking about something, when it comes to learning languages, Scudder is a master. My goodness, he knows、uh, Mandarin. He He knows Hakka. He knows Taiwanese. Japanese. He knows Japanese too.、So. He's a friend of ours. Yeah. Yep. So when it comes to learning languages, he's a master. When it comes to good food, not many countries make better food than Taiwan. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess you could say that for sure. Absolutely.、Yeah. When it comes to that, but in any case, if you are talking about evading predators or getting away from animals that want to kill you and eat you, eat you. Well, octopuses are masters at camouflaging themselves. Their skin can change its hue and texture to blend into the environment. So, hue is a word that is related to color. It's kind of the the shade of a color.、Uh, like we have blue, but We've got different shades of blue or different hues of blue. If you're an artist, you know what some of those are. It can be either dark or light or medium,、mm-hmm. yeah. or a completely different kind of characteristic or something. And we've also got texture here, which is kind of like the appearance of something.、Uh, texture could also refer to how food feels in your mouth, the texture of the food. That is a characteristic that people like when they eat food: the texture of it.、Yeah. And because of their hue. And the texture of their skin, they can blend into an environment. They can kind of hide that way. And、uh, yes, indeed, I think I saw the latest、uh, Nemo film. It was called Finding Dory, yeah, which I actually didn't think was very good myself. But、uh, in any case, there was an octopus in there that could do this. It could blend into the background and camouflage itself. Someone's pretty good、uh, drawing octopuses to know that.、Mm. So what that doesn't, when that doesn't work, either you know camouflaging themselves, changing their color and texture,、uh, if that doesn't work, they can also expel ink. And escape through the dark cloud they create. If、uh, many of you out there know that if you go to a pasta restaurant,、uh, they'll have sometimes they'll have that ink pasta, which is that 
Uh, you know the noodles with the black ink yeah, from an octopus. Yeah, my daughter likes that. Oh, yeah. it just.、Uh, but I went with a friend who ordered that. It just made me sick because her、really? teeth turned black. I I wanted to throw up. So. so it's kind of interesting to eat that sort of thing. Yeah, it turns your mouth black. Be、but、careful. That's、uh, the ink from an octopus. We、yeah. all know that they can do this. They can expel it, so they can kind of spit it, it out, out、yeah. push it out, and then they can escape through that dark cloud, and their predators have no idea where they are. Cool. Now let's move on to the next paragraph here. It says, apart from these characteristics, or in addition to these characteristics or qualities, octopuses have earned the title of one of the smartest animals on Earth. So we've talked about their ability to fit into small spaces or get through small holes and to hide and to camouflage themselves, but also they are actually one of the smartest animals. On the face of the earth. Cool. Their achievements. An achievement is something that you accomplish because you work hard, you set a goal, and you work towards it. And if you're successful, you have an achievement. Their achievements include being able to open jars. Now. I think it's very cool that they can open the jar from outside, but they can actually open the jar from inside, which means they're inside the jar and they can still open it. They're pretty smart, and、uh, they can use tools. So I guess those little sucker arms that they have are are good at holding tools. I would love to see this actually.、Uh, some birds know how to use tools. Really, and of course, we know that uh, uh, monkeys can use tools.、Yeah. That is a sign of intelligence.、Mm. And an Australian study or some research that was done in Australia has recently found that octopuses will hoard coconut shells and use them to build forts they can hide in. If you Hoard something that means you keep it for yourself, and usually you keep a lot of that thing. Okay, some people hoard food, for example, because they're afraid there might be some kind of a disaster coming. They just kind of. Uh, keep it all. Of course, we talk about people who like to save、uh, lots of things, like old books, magazines, clothes, everything. They are hoarders. They just keep everything. They can't throw anything away. But、yeah. octopuses are doing this for a reason.、Yeah. These are coconut shells, the hard parts of coconuts, because they know that someday they're going to build a fort. Or some kind of a shelter, and they'll be able to hide inside it. So they're kind of planning ahead. I know, I love it.、Uh, building a little fort. Yeah, octopuses have even been witnessed. People have seen them. They've seen this happen, so they've witnessed it.、Uh, octopuses tapping little shrimp on the shoulder. To scare the animals into their waiting arms. So from the sentence, we know that octopus、uh, octopuses like to eat shrimp. Which isn't surprising. I like shrimp; it's pretty tasty.、Mm. For all these reasons and more, there are some more, but we don't have time to share all of the reasons why people think they're smart. Some people believe that no other sea creature is cleverer than the octopus. They're the smartest in the sea. That's what this is saying. Mm -hmm. No other creature is cleverer than an octopus, and、uh, yes, indeed, they're the smartest in the sea. I wonder if they're smarter than dolphins. But in any case, yeah, I here, thought they were the smartest. Yeah, that's what I thought. But、uh, I guess the ocean has all sorts of intelligence. I think、uh, whales are actually pretty smart too. But、uh -huh. in any case, small wonder that when given the slightest chance, you could also say you could also say it's no wonder、mm. that when they are given the slightest chance of freedom, Inky grasped it. With all eight arms, and that's kind of an interesting little play on words there, because an octopus, of course, has eight arms.、Uh, this kind of relates to the phrase to welcome somebody with open arms. That means、uh, you give them a really nice welcome, you、yeah. give them a big hug and stuff like that. So Inky welcomed freedom with all of its eight arms. He grasped that chance for freedom. If you grasp something, you hold on to it tightly. That's right. Right now, guys, we are going to、uh, let you listen to our Chinese teacher, and then we'll be back to wrap up. 接着，我们来看到第三个空格的句子。When it comes to blank three, 
predators, octopuses are masters at camouflaging themselves. 在这里提到的 when it comes to 解释成为一谈到一说到非常特别。虽然是 to， 但是呢，这里的 to 是介系词，后面的动词要加上 ing。一谈到这个掠食者，这些人看到掠食者，当然要赶快躲避起来喽。第三题 ，A evading 就有躲避、逃避的意思。B deserting 抛弃。C monitoring 监督。D protesting 抗议。这题的标准答案就是 A 选项。谈到呢，要躲避他们的掠食者，他们其实非常懂得伪装自己。后面的句子延续说 ，Their skin can change its hue and texture to blend for the environment. 章鱼的这个皮肤呢，可以改变它的 hue 颜色、色调，甚至 texture， 就连呢这个组织呢，它的整个的肌肉呢，也可以改变。为了要怎么样这个环境呢？第四题 ，A clean out 打扫 ，B。Go over, 查看 C blend into, 与什么协调相衬 D stand for, 代表为了能够呢与整个环境协调相衬的皮肤的颜色跟这个嗯肌肉组织都可以改变。所以第四题的标准答案，我们就选择 C 选项。接着来看到第五个空格 ，blank five. These characteristics, octopuses have earned the title of one of the smartest animals on Earth. 第五题的 A 选项 ，despite 尽管虽然 ，B since 因为 ，C instead of 取代 ，D apart from。除了什么什么之外，除了刚刚讲到的这么多的特质，它还获得了呢这个地球上最聪明的动物之一的头衔。所以搭配文艺第五题的标准答案，我们选择 D apart from。第六个空格 For all these reasons and more, some people believe that blank six sea creature is cleverer than an octopus. 刚刚讲到了很多章鱼很聪明的地方，所以听到了这些原因跟理由，甚至还有更多的其他事情。有些人甚至认为怎么样？我们这里有没有看到一个比较级 cleverer than 没有呢？任何的海洋的生物会来的比章鱼更聪明了。在这里要把自己排外，所以没有其他的海洋生物比章鱼更聪明。第六题的标准答案，我们就选择 C， no other。最后一句 ，Small wonder that when blank seven, the slightest chance of freedom, Inky grasped it with all eight arms. Small wonder， 也就是解释成为也难怪呢。当怎么样，他很快的就抓住了这个机会。当然呢，我们第七题要选择的是 given， 因为主词是 Inky。当这只章鱼被给予了有那么一点点自由的机会。他就紧抓住他不放，就逃脱咯。所以第七题我们选择 B 选项 ，Given VPP 表被动。OK， 以上就是今天的课文讲解，谢谢收听。OK， that's all the time we have for today, everybody. It's been a very fascinating discussion today about octopuses. I'll bet you never feel the same about octopuses the next time you go to eat seafood in Geelong or look at octopuses in the aquarium.、Okay? No, from now on, I'm going to look at them and try to figure out what they're thinking. And I think they're, they're smart. Kind of, yeah, and I think、yeah. they're kind of cute too. Maybe I can play a game of chess with them or something. <laughs> well, that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for joining us. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.